It's a very wintry day here at Double M Innovations. And we're gonna see what's going on with that Vivor wind turbine I have on top of the barn up there. I installed a wind monitoring weather station on my antenna pole so I can keep track of what the wind conditions are up by the wind turbine. I'll go inside now, freezing my hands off. This is the wind controller that came with the Vivor wind turbine. Then I added some other custom circuits so I could control it. This here is a cutoff switch that'll just short out the windings on the wind turbine and bring it to a stop when I want to just stop it. And I added some diodes and some capacitors so I won't have current flowing back through the controller when it wasn't producing any power because they say these will consume some of your power. I showed all this stuff in another video. I'll leave a link in the description for that. I got my meter set up so we can read the voltage of the battery and the amps that's going into it. This is the current right here, DC amps, voltage of the battery, DC volts. And this is my monitoring station right here that is reading 35 miles an hour. That's not an instantaneous reading. It updates every 30 seconds. So we had a top wind speed of 44 miles an hour today. Last hour, it was up to 35 miles per hour. Right now, it's it's not 35 miles an hour right now. That's just what it was in the last 30 seconds, the highest reading. And then we got outdoor temperature and feels like wind temperature, 22 below. And this is the current readings we have now. 14, that's a voltage, battery voltage. It's jumping around. Not having a whole lot of snow right here, like a full-blown blizzard. We're just having the winds. I guess it needs to be 35-mile-an-hour winds to be in the category of a blizzard. But we don't have quite enough snow. Though the wind speed has dropped a little bit in the last 30 seconds. But I can keep track of it now without going outside or up on the roof. This other readings. Now this is that Vivor 500 watt wind turbine rated. It's nowhere near 500 watts, but it is producing some power. It's supposed to spend 500 watts. I think it was at a 26 mile an hour wind. Well, we've been way over that today. We never seen 500 watts. We never quite seen 200 watts. It has dropped down a little bit. Usually tell what's going on with the current. Right now I have a couple loads on it, DC loads. I have a bunch of lights on up here for my lab. And the light I'm holding in my hand is a DC incandescent light. Got it hooked direct up. I just turned on another load because it was starting to regulate the voltage. So I turned on a heat lamp off that inverter over there. So we got a heat lamp going here, plus my DC loads. Now this isn't the way I recommend you hook stuff up. And this is just a temporary setup. I do have a 12 volt fuse box here I'll be using, old one I had before from the other system. And this is just that 12 volt that's getting kind of warm. But I wanted to stick this on there so it wasn't regulating. I probably got maybe close to 100 watts of power being used between these lights right now. And that's the current battery voltage. And these are the readings. I'll grab my light again so you can see them. Kind of hard to read that without a light shining on there. And that's the wind speed within the last 30 seconds. Like I say, it updates every 30 seconds. So that's not the instantaneous mile per hour wind speed reading. Eleven amps going in. So you just calculate 
volts times amps get the watts. There's up to 12 amps. And wind speed hasn't updated, I don't think, yet. So I think it's up probably maybe a little over 29 miles per hour. Or I guess it looks like it dropped down now. Yeah, it updated, and I guess it was up to 30 miles per hour. I think we're probably about at the tail end of the storm, but this, it's, well, 12 amps is pretty decent. This is, it's getting a little bit warm to the touch, but it's not hot. And, oh, it was up to 13. Up to 13 amps here, I seen for a second. My uh, wind monitor didn't update yet. I'll take a look to see what it jumped up to. This is the current power going into the battery. I guess it was up to 32 miles per hour. Now I was doing some monitoring of that wind turbine and calculating the output wattage at different wind speeds just over the last few weeks. And at about 10 miles per hour, usually get around 13 watts. 15 miles per hour, may get up 40 watts. 22 miles per hour, 115. And right here, around 27 miles per hour, we're getting about 125 watts. This is where we're supposed to be getting 500 watts, according to their advertisement, but we're not getting anywhere close to that. And 30 miles per hour, you know, is still way down and then today I was taking some readings was blowing pretty hard 35 miles per hour maybe about 169 watts 37 miles per hour 187 watts that's pretty much the highest I've seen it so far and we're putting in about 9 10 amps right now and the wind speed is about 20 well it didn't update but right now it's saying 26 if it updates it'll probably be a little higher than that i think according to my previous readings i think it'll go up a little higher than that just updated was up to 29 miles per hour so i think that give you a good indication of what you can expect from this wind turbine, these are real life conditions. The setup is, the wiring of the setup is how I would have it. I just need to mount this stuff up for permanent connections. I just pulled this out from another system I had for 12 volt fusing. This one right now is not fused, so I don't recommend that. The inverter has its own fuse, so that's safe. But these other ones, like this one other light that's just clamped on there. I don't know if that has a fuse on it or not, but I think it's probably be all right. Temporary use. So that's my Viver wind turbine update. It handled that 44 mile an hour wind, so it is holding together. It's just it's just way overrated for output. You know, we're not, I wish it was getting 500 watts at 26 miles an hour, but it just doesn't cut it. But it is working and it is holding together so far, even in the cold temperatures. We'll see what happens over the winter. We've had some 30, 25, 30 below air temperatures and it still worked all right. I don't know what it was supposed to handle, but so far it's still going. I don't know, I think it was supposed to handle up to 105 mile an hour winds. We'll see. I don't. I don't know if we don't get that kind of wind, but it did handle the 44 mile an hour winds and whatever snow we were getting. I know just to the west of us, they have the interstate closed on the North Dakota border over there. A little bit more snow there, but we are getting the same winds they are getting, just maybe not as much snow. So I'm going to get out of the cold now, and I'll see you again.